we have to accept that this fight, nine times out of ten, this fight is going to happen. And initially, when I thought about this fight, was I upset? Yes, because we know that Canelo should be fighting David Benavidez. But Canelo doesn't want to get knocked out. He doesn't want to get embarrassed. So instead, he'll be fighting Terrence Bud Crawford, most likely in September. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's the Dia de los Muertos. I don't know what Mexican holiday they'll be fighting on, to be honest with you. But in September, Crawford and Canelo will be squaring off. So initially, I'm thinking, damn, Crawford doesn't really have a chance. Canelo's too big. Look at what Canelo did to Jamel Charlo. But then I had to remember, Crawford is a totally different specimen, totally different animal than Jamel Charlo. Not only is he probably more athletic than Charlo, but mentally, he's in a, in a different uh, space. Mentally, he's in a different mind frame. Somebody says it's a 60-40 fight. I would have to agree. Initially, I thought it was like 80-20, 70-30, but it really is a 60-40 fight. I went back and watched uh, some of the footage from Floyd and Canelo. If Crawford could keep the fight in the middle of the ring, if he could stay off of the ropes, he could beat Canelo. I mean, Crawford has a uh, 74-inch reach. So if he could keep his distance, he pretty much could jab Canelo out all night. Crawford's feet are faster than Canelo's no matter how much weight he puts on. If y'all in here, make sure y'all tap in the screen. Make sure you're liking the live, man. But Crawford, his feet are so fast, uh, much faster than Canelo's. They're not as fast as they used to be because he's getting older. But so is Canelo. And Canelo has always had slow feet. So if Crawford could use his footwork, keep the fight in the middle of the ring. Um, Crawford isn't a guy that uses the shoulder roll often, but I've seen him roll his shoulder once or twice in counter. So if he could adopt some of that Philly shell for this fight, the same shit that, that Floyd used against Canelo will work again. It's just that I don't know if he's going to be able to deal with Canelo's power. This is a different version of Canelo than Floyd fought. Hey, Sim, thanks for liking the live, man. Everybody in here, make sure you're liking the live. This version of Canelo has failed um, two performance-enhancing drug tests. This version of Canelo got caught using clenbuterol. This version of Canelo is a lot larger. So he's, he's enhanced, scientifically enhanced, but he's also just a larger man. Canelo's power has traveled up to light heavyweight. So Bud will be in there with some power that he's never experienced. However, this is the thing about Bud Crawford, and I may do a video on this, but Shakur Stevenson says that Bud likes to spar with cruiserweights and shit like that. Shakur, uh, by his words, Bud Crawford, he was almost, he made a, a heavyweight stumble. He was in the ring with a heavyweight and he hit a heavyweight with a hook and the heavyweight lost his footing. So he almost knocked out a heavyweight. So Bud has been in there with some big guys, but it's the difference between sparring and a real fight because there's no headgear and the gloves are smaller. Uh, Juan Joe DeWokey, thanks for the follow. But real shit, Crawford has a legitimate chance of beating Canelo. What do y'all think? I think it's a 60-40 fight. Initially, I thought it was a BS. I thought it was a silly fight. And I thought it was Canelo trying to avoid David Benavidez. I still think Canelo's avoiding Benavidez, but I think Canelo could potentially lose to Terrence Crawford. I don't think it's going to be an easy win. When you look at what Floyd did to Canelo, those same tactics will still work today. Canelo's feet are even slower. He just hits harder. And he's a much larger man than when he fought Floyd. But his feet are still slow. Um, his head moving isn't what it used to be. When Canelo fought uh, Danny Jacobs, his head movement was immaculate. When he fought John Ryder, his head movement was, was whack as hell. When he fought Jamel Charlo, he barely showed any head movement at all. So Canelo, he's at a point in his career where he just wants to put his hands up and throw bombs. You know? I still got Canelo into the day. Three weight classes is too much. Exactly. Now, that's a great point. And Canelo is such a star in the sport. Um, Crawford isn't going to be able to demand a catch weight. See, Floyd demanded a catch weight. That made a difference. Floyd would have won anyway. But for a lot of y'all don't know this, but on fight night, Canelo outweighed Floyd by almost 20 pounds. He rehydrated to close to 170 pounds. Floyd was around 152 pounds. Didn't gain much weight since the weigh-in. So Canelo has lost to smaller men before. If y'all in here, make sure you tap in the screen, man. The light should never stop. If you're enjoying the comment, uh, the, if you're enjoying the content, the light should never stop. Make sure you tap in the screen. Crawford looks big right now. What's up, Miguel? What's up? 
Crawford is big. He's a big guy because he has a long reach, man. 74 inch reach. Everybody that's liking the live, thank you. I appreciate it. Bud goes Bibble style slightly and he can do it. Yeah, Bud could, could add in some uh, in and out footwork all day. Crawford's feet, they're never really going to leave him. He's nowhere near as fast as he used to be, but his his feet are always two to three times better than Canelo. Canelo 165, Floyd 152, 13 pounds. Yeah, but you have to understand, that was after the second weigh-in. So Canelo had even more time to hydrate more. That's why I said anywhere almost 20 pounds because I would bet Canelo was 170 inside of that ring. If you were to bet on who, who you got, if I was forced to bet, I would still put my money on Canelo. But the reason why I'm doing this live and the thing that I had to admit, Crawford has a legitimate chance of beating Canelo. More than I thought initially. Crawford has the frame to beat him. He has athleticism. He has the right mindset. The mindset is very important. Miguel, thanks for liking the live. Jamel Charlo didn't have the right mindset. Charlo had a survival mindset. But when you want to jump up and wait, what do they say? If you want to go where no man has ever gone before, you have to do what no man has ever done before. So when you jump up and wait, your mindset has to be like on a whole different uh, atmosphere, a whole different planet to the point where you're risking things. You're risking your health in order to do something that no man has ever done. Of course, men has jumped up and wait before in boxing, but these are feats of giants. That's this is not something that mere mortals could do to jump up and wait and beat up on a man who has a 20 pound weight advantage on you. So Crawford, if he does be able to, he'll be able to cement himself as one of the greatest boxers of all time. And I think that's why he wants this fight. Like literally, if Crawford could go up three weight classes and beat Canelo while remaining, while still being undefeated, now we got to start talking about him next to Floyd Mayweather. If Crawford could beat Canelo, we can start talking about this man next to Floyd. What's up, uh, T Street? What's the deal? What's the deal, man? That's a fact. Uh, if he could pull that off, man, he definitely could get in the conversation with uh, with Floyd for sure, man. Cause, but, but that's right, never man. been done, though, bro, for a guy to go up three weight classes and beat the undisputed guy at that weight class. Like, Hey, man, that's what I'm saying. That's why if Crawford does this, we have to start looking at it like, damn, is he up there with Floyd or is he better than Floyd? Because, like, what the hell? We've never seen, first off, Especially if Crawford he stopped Canelo. Stopped everybody. He stopped everybody since moving to welterweight. Um, so that's number one. To me, Crawford is like a modern-day Ray Robinson. That's how he fights. He's very offensive. But Ray Robinson, he didn't take care of his body as good as Crawford. Like, Ray Robinson used to do certain substances and drink and all of that stuff. Party. Crawford has been focused, so he's able to keep up this athleticism for longer than Ray Robinson was able to. But... Uh, going up in weight, when Ray Robinson tried to go up to light heavyweight, he lost. It was too much for Ray. And Ray was a better fighter than the guy that he challenged. I can't think of the dude's name, but it was too much. And I think it's going to be the same with Crawford, but I give Crawford a chance. I give him a boxer's chance, not a puncher's chance. I give him a boxer's chance. Because Crawford, is, his hands are faster than Canelo's. His feet are faster than Canelo's. His jab is longer and better than Canelo's. Now, his defense, I don't like his defense because if you're just going to put your hands up, Canelo's just going to throw punches at your arms and try to break your arms and rupture, uh, you know, your, your bicep and shit like he did with uh, Caleb Smith. So you don't want Crawford to be getting ruptured biceps. You don't want him to be getting a, a pull, a muscle pull in his elbow or anything like that because he's just trying to absorb shots. So Crawford had to show great defense like he's a, a man in his younger days. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you look at Crawford, man, you follow his career, bro, you can see um, at 140, he was more on the back foot, a lot more, you know, boxing, a lot more, yep. uh, moving his head a little bit more, too. And then he came up to welterweight where he started stopping everybody. And he kind of was, he kind of stopped her more. I believe that uh, the Jeff Horn fight, he felt some power. Um, and I, I think he decided, like, okay, these dudes could punch. I don't want to move. I want to punch back. And at um at 140, those dudes are faster. And, at, and even at lightweight, those dudes are faster. At 147, these dudes, they don't have they're, they're not moving around for 12 rounds anyway. So Bud made a decision, like, okay, since they're not as fast, let me try to land some of these shots and sit here in the pocket and knock out some of these dudes. I don't know why he started fighting. I'm just I'm just giving my theory. I don't know, really know why he started fighting more flat-footed since moving to welterweight. 
but you can tell he, he definitely made a difference in style. He still moves around from time to time, but um, ever since going to welterweight, he's been focused on stopping guys. I think once he realized the punching power, yeah, he's like, oh, what? I, I could I could punch like this. Like, okay. I mean, he's been punching like that his entire career, so I would have to disagree with that. I mean, he's been knocking dudes out since he came into boxing. It's just that he was signed to Bob Arum, and Bob Arum, um, he doesn't know how to market black fighters, so it is what it is. Christian, thanks for liking the live. I was saying as far as, like, Walter you're right, he did have power at lightweight, but I was saying, like, Walter Ray, because soon as he was coming up, the whole question was, can he can he not get bullied by bigger guys? And when he did Jeff Horn like yeah. that, and Pacquiao got did dirty by Jeff Horn, everybody was like, okay, he could deal with a bigger guy. Yeah, I mean, Pacquiao skill set has always been overrated. Pacquiao isn't overrated, but Pacquiao's skill set is overrated because Pacquiao is a legend. When you look at Pacquiao, though, he has a very basic game plan, but he does have a, a couple of angles and shit. But other than that, he just jumps in and out with a bunch of flurries. Defense isn't too great. Crawford is a, a guy that pretty much can do everything, and he has long-ass arms. So he's just a whole different animal. Like he could, jab, he could win with a jab. He could win on a move. He could step back and counter. He could box. He could brawl. He could do everything. Pacquiao was just a very, very exciting fighter that was willing to give his life and was fast as hell. Um, and Pacquiao developed into a better bo boxer as his career went on. But ultimately, Pacquiao's skill set has always been overrated. Yeah, I feel like uh, when you look at Pacquiao, a lot of people, like I think people think, and they hear people say that like boxing is a chess match. Like I think they think they people are saying that because it sound, bro. It's not because it sound cool. Like it literally is. Like Pacquiao. Yeah, boxing really is a chess match. Yeah, like Pacquiao was in there with Floyd. And Floyd is doing a certain shit to Pacquiao that Pacquiao don't even know to do. Like, he doesn't even know to do. Yeah, that's what Pac that's what Floyd did to Canelo. And that's why, since you mentioned Floyd, that's why I give Crawford at least a 40% chance to win this fight. If Crawford could hit Canelo from different angles, uh, he might shock Canelo. Um, and based off the story that Shakur Stevens has told, told about Crawford hurting a heavyweight in sparring, we know just looking at Crawford, his power is doing things to men that has never been done to them. He stopped Sean Porter. Sean Porter has never been stopped in his career. If you in here, make sure you tap in that screen. I appreciate it. everybody in the chat. He stopped Errol Spence and dropped Errol Spence. Errol Spence has never been dropped in his professional career. I don't know about Sparn. So Crawford's power is special. So maybe everybody keep asking, damn, is Crawford gonna be able to do with Canelo? Really, we should be, we should be thinking at least, damn, is Canelo going to be able to deal with Crawford? Because if you add 10 pounds of muscle on Crawford, I don't think he should get too heavy, but if you add 10 pounds of muscle to his athleticism and his power, maybe Canelo might be the one that gets shocked. That would be the most shocking outcome to me if he stopped Canelo. You say that Bud Kurt could knock out Canelo. That's not, bro, that's not how... I never said, and I didn't say Crawford could knock out Canelo. I said that Crawford, um, I said Crawford... Could win has a boxer's chance. You wasn't in here when I said I said Crawford has a boxer's chance because he's a better boxer than Canelo. Saying that like Canelo has a crazy chin, bro. People could knock his ass out, bro. Like Canelo is that person. Canelo, has a, Canelo has a great chin. Yeah. I mean, nobody. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think Canelo can get stung easy, bro. I think that to to stun Canelo, you gotta have crazy power. You gotta have like wild, wild. Power. No, you, you didn't hear what I was saying, no anime fan base. I said he has to do some of what Floyd was doing. Floyd Floyd said that if his hands didn't stop hurting, he, he would have stopped Canelo, but that was a different Canelo Canelo than that 154. But what Floyd was doing was he was hitting Canelo from angles that um, Canelo wasn't seeing the shots. He was outboxing him, and that's why the power stung so much. And I think Bud could do some of the same shit, being that he has longer arms than Floyd. So if he could take his time and really set shit up that Canelo can't see, he might shock Canelo with the power. I don't hey, bro, stop what him. I have to, to be what to I have Canelo to tell you that right now is that that fight is gonna be shit, man. It's not gonna be a competitive fight. No, no, no. Fight. This fight, this fight gonna happen, nah, and this fight gonna be. This I'm fight not fight watching be great that shit, man. Crawford I'm not gonna watch that. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Yeah, man, fuck that. that fight, man. Both of them are ducking their young lions. They gotta fight. I, I agree with him. I agree with you, bro. Canelo Alvarez and fuck Tank Davis. They all ducking their mandatories. I'm calling them out. Call him out. Damn, David, David Jetlo, they ain't playing. Yeah, they need to stop oh. ducking, man. Damn, I the reason why we have to now, man. this fight, fellas, it's not how it used to be. No fellas, listen, check me out. The reason we got to talk about this is because the fights that we want aren't going to happen. So what does that mean? That means we're going to have to deal with what they're giving us. 
this fight is going to happen. And I think that Crawford has a 40% chance of winning. And let me tell you, bro, if Crawford gets hit in the body by Canelo, it's over for his ass. It's over for yeah. him, bro. I'm telling you, it's over. But it's going to be I'm going to put my money on Canelo. It was over for John right there. I'm going to put my money on Canelo, bro. If 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 Canelo wins, bro. If Canelo wins, though, we, we gotta keep it real. Bro. If he wins, you want to make a bet on it? I got on Canelo, bro. Canelo didn't stop Jamel Charlo. He didn't stop John Ryder. Well, what makes listen, you think listen, Crawford if, stops Canelo? You guys scared, bro. Stop you stop mean machine. Machine. how faster Floyd was compared to him. Huh? Crawford just as fat, uh, com not fast as Floyd, but on a similar Crawford level, he's a slick. He's a slick boxer with good defense. Canelo's gonna struggle with that, especially with the IQ of Thank Crawford. He's not gonna deal with. He not. He gonna look like he. Has I think. I think Crawford is gonna go in there just for a money but, grab. He's not gonna. But fight, yeah, he bro. is because he doesn't. No, 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 no. Person that could like do. Fuck no, Crawford don't have the mentality. This is not Jamel Charlo. <laughs> Crawford going in there oh, and hurt something. I'm letting you know that right now. <laughs> I do think Canelo could try to stop him because Crawford yeah, Canelo did, could potentially knock him out. Yeah, because he's, he's a yeah. lot smaller than Charlo too. <laughs> but but look look, which McCarley has a boxer. He has a boxer's chance. Crawford has a boxer's chance, bro. I promise you. When I watched the Floyd fight, rewatching it, I'm like, damn. Crawford got longer arms than Floyd. He could do a lot of the same shit Floyd was doing. His feet are going to be faster than Canelo's feet until he dies. Like, he's a much better athlete. Hey, can I ask you something? Who has five better fighters, yes. Canelo or Bud? Canelo. Who, who has a better, huh? exactly. Canelo. Do you think that? Canelo has a better resume. Canelo. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Canelo better resume. That right. don't mean that's anything, because we're talking about right, right now. Shit. We don't, uh, that don't mean anything. That don't mean anything. Better. Manny Pacquiao's resume was way better than Ugas. Ugas beat that ass. I mean, that don't your resume don't mean nothing. Boxing is like every single day you got to prove yourself every day in the gym, every fight. You Nobody guys are going feelings, fight. man. Hey, bro. I, I'm Mexican and and I'm not going or rooting for Canelo. Bro, let me tell you something. You know what pisses me off, bro? That Canelo shouldn't even be fighting it, but he should be fighting Benavides, bro. Like, get out of yeah, here. Why do you yeah, think, yeah, why do you think he ran the fights, bud? Because bud is an easier fight. Benavides, if he hey, Canelo. He's I ain't gonna, gonna get lie to you. work, bro. Benavides will put, be, be putting that work in that combination. Yeah. You don't want that smoke. I'm telling you. Benavides will stop Canelo, but guys, we gotta, we have to analyze the fights that's gonna happen. Benavides and Canelo is not gonna happen. Like, I mean, we can see that on the horizon. Because we know, because we, hey, I see the take. We know who's gonna win. Because we know if who's Canelo Crawford and Benavides. Benavides is I'm not watching fight boxing Canelo. ever again. <laughs> Canelo only chance. Terrence to Crawford and uh, Benavides to fight. Winner gets Canelo. If Canelo beat mm -hmm. Crawford, it's based off power, bro. Nothing Benavides else. Benavides destroys mm -hmm. Nothing bro. else. It's literally based off power and size. There's nothing else he could do with Crawford. I'm going to tell you straight up. Um, mm -hmm. If Crawford jump up there the, with the mentality that he has, he said in the interview, he said before he let a man do whatever they're going to do to him, it's going to be a dog fight. So the entertainment that we thought we were going <laughs> to get from Canelo and Charlo, this shit is about to go down. I promise y'all. Like, even if Crawford get knocked out, he going out swinging. That motherfucker, that's a whole different... This is a different animal. This is a killer. This is a man that took one in the back of the head, you know what I mean, and drove himself to the hospital. This man is a killer. <laughs> once if once Canelo Crawford feels Canelo's up. power, it's, it's all over, bro. He's going to start running around. Bro, like but, but, but Canelo he's doesn't have the same power as before. Canelo. It wasn't over for John Ryder. It wasn't Thank over you. for Jamel Thank Carlo. You. So why y'all keep Crawford, acting like Canelo is Crawford. like this knockout artist? He's not. He's Canelo. Just I have a different. question. How he's saying because he's three, three weight class. He's different. Just three. like you said, he got shot in the head and drove himself to the hospital. That man different, bro. He got a point to prove. He yeah, gonna Canelo, be there to prove yeah, a point. Not That's like just what it is. I'm not even saying that he gonna like, win. I'm, I just know that this motherfucker fight about to be crazy. That's is. one thing I do it, know. It's gonna be the thing for the good. It gonna go down. It gonna go down as one of the greatest fights, bro. Because Carnelo gonna come to the table to prove that he's Carnelo, and Crawford gonna come there to show the world that he's the new champ. This is not going to be a competitive Crawford, fight. Crawford, I know I agree. It's not going to be a competitive fight, fight, man. We gotta start. We gotta start asking like, is this one of the, just the greatest? Uh, fighter we ever seen uh, next to Floyd, because he's not supposed to win no shit like this. He's not supposed to be able to jump up three weight classes after wiping out the entire division at welterweight. Nah, he didn't wipe out boots. 
Never mind. Yeah, boots, boots is from a whole other era. Yeah, I want to see him versus Boots. Nah, I want to see. Him. Let's, let's be Crawford real. Does. He only wants to go in there with Canelo for a money grab. Crawford is a quack, quack, for a cash quack, grab, quack, bro. Quack, quack. He doesn't want to fight for legacy, bro. Yeah, he's Crawford, a clown, huh? just like Canelo. They want to fight for. Now, if, if you beat Canelo, like do you know what that does to your legacy? What you talking about? This is a legacy fight. He's, he's not going to be Canelo legacy though. Fight. This what, is a what, money do, what, what do Boots have for his Dude, legacy? Dude, you, you got to know that Canelo has a chin, an iron chin, bro. He's never been. Okay, but do you Boots know you don't Boots have to have knock what? somebody out to beat him, uh, Abel. Boots don't What's have up, nothing for Crawford legacy. Crawford was already. Boots got the boots. If he fights Tans Crawford, beats Jaron Ennis, he'll be three times. And do you know that Crawford's been hurt? If Canelo he fight Canelo, he'll be three times. Crawford has. No, but no, he wouldn't. They both been hurt before. What you talking about? Fight, Canelo got if, hurt in the photo fight. If he beat Canelo, he yeah, but he was hella young. How old was he? He was like eighteen. He's not. He's not getting his belts. What that mean? He was young, bro. What does that mean? He he doesn't have that much experience yet, bro. What does it What does that mean though? He got hit and he got Crawford so easy. Brother. Why don't Crawford get him out the way? But how young was he? Was like seven, bro. Come on, David. Y'all gotta understand something. Crawford is thirty, but uh, gonna be thirty six years old next year. Man. <laughs> Damn, boy <laughs> was thirty six. Canelo was twenty three. I don't want to hear. But but I'm saying, do you understand? Do you understand that these are his last, these are his last couple years in boxing. He's trying to make as much money possible. <laughs> these are the cash out years. I don't know, man. Yeah, he should have really been making money. He should have been a superstar since oh. age thirty, but he was with Bob Aaron. So now he got to play catch up and try to get paid. That's his dumb ass fault. He need to give him the facts. fight. That's facts. I don't know why these black fighters keep signing signing to Bob, but at the end of the day. I can't get mad at him for getting money. Hey, let's just wait and see what happens. And you, you all gonna regret everything. Watch when the fight happens. <laughs> what, what the hell I don't want to see the fight. Hey, hey, you signed it. You signed it like a hero. I want to see the young fighters get their chance. I want to see who's gonna to get their chance. David Morrell mm. might as well. David Benavides might as well fight David Morrell and Jaime Munguia. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, the only, that's the only good thing. Canelo and. I don't even care what Canelo's doing. I know that Canelo going to try to fight Crawford and Jamal. I want to see what's David Benavidez next move, man. Like, where is David going to go next? Like, he's going to probably fight Morel. And uh, do you know how old is Canelo? He's the real champ at 134. You know what fight's gonna be I a think. good fight? I mean, Munguil versus Benavides. That's gonna be a good fight. Why? That's a good fight. Yeah. That's a great fight. But Benavides kills him, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, true, true. Bro, he's, gonna he's, him to the he's definitely gonna be a good fight, bro. We'll put his ass in the yeah. no Canelo is 33. He's in it, bro. Bud is not winning because Canelo's still on his prime, bro. I think it'll take an Arthur Bader BF to knock Canelo out. I ain't gonna lie. Benavides will yeah. knock Canelo out. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. I agree with that. He has power. I, get, I give Arthur Bader BF a better chance to knock him out than Benavides. But that, that fight would never happen. That's like saying Canelo and Benavides. Canelo knows. Where to stay away from if he doesn't want to get stopped and dropped at this point in his career? Better be if it is what it is. Percent knockout ratio, bro. True, he, he does have a hundred percent. Arthur ratio. better be if is a lost individual. He cannot box. He always fighting niggas that want to slug. When was he last time he but fought a boxer? He, he fight Bibble, so, so yeah, he about so to he fight Bibble. Gonna get Bibble, Bibble, Bibble gonna whoop his ass. I'm just, just playing. Play. I don't know. That's honestly a 50 50 fight. I'm just saying that because I don't like. Uh, no, nah, it's a 50 50. It's 50 50. But B Walk can't take the power. We know what's going to happen. And if better be if. Man, I think Bill about to get fucked up. I can put my money on everything. I think Bill about to get fucked up. I think Bill about to get fucked up. Yo, his he hasn't had no knockouts, bro. True. And like the nah, but he could box I'm team fight. His defense is nice. He, he could move. He has good. He got the best work. defense in boxing. He box. got so much experience, bro. He got the. He has so much like This motherfucker been in the amateur tournaments, Olympic tournament, like, and then he's his his power has transferred over into the pros. Like man, I think Bibble about to get his ass. That motherfucker stop, Bibble, but he don't stop going, buddy. Hey, better be you stop uh, drop Usyk with a body shot. So you probably might do the same. Yeah. He do you Usyk do you think David shot. Benavides gets stopped man, in the uh, light heavyweight know. division? David Benavides, mm -hmm. do you think do you think he gets stopped by um Arthur Better be or Bebo? Yeah, I think he I think he would beat Bebo, but I think he will he will lose to Bertha oh. Bebo. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I don't see know. that. I think the only way that they're gonna beat Bertha Bebo is they wait like. Like three or four more years to where he real, real, real. Old. Yeah, when he, he, he already, yeah, that's what he's gonna 
win. He could win because he's going to get real, 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 real old. That's that's where David Benavides is going to, you know, have the, all that. Yeah, that's a, that's a good time. David needs to play it smart. You see Canelo duck you, David, so wait for Bert to be here. Learn from your uh, uh, predecessors. You know what I mean? Hey, he should go hop on Morel while he can because Morel going to get better. So he might as well just go get Munguia. Yeah, Morel, get that's Morel. what I'm saying. If you, if you play Morel right now while Morel green, he fuck around and beat Morel just because of the experience he got. But if he yeah. let Morel wait, then you're right. Morel is going to end up being a 50-50 fight. Because yeah. Morel got, got natural skills and movements that Benavidez don't have. Mm -hmm. I, I respect David, though, bro. He said if he can't ever get to another <laughs> fight, he'll move up and fight beef all and better beef. Yeah, I mean, he said that he... Uh, better David beef. Benavidez said I was too mouth that he know birds are being beef. Like, he's watching the motherfuckers. He not scared. Hey, Cheshire, I can't. Thanks for liking the live, man. Everybody that's been tapping the screen, thank you. Yeah, David is one of them throwback fighters, bro. He's trying to fight everybody. Yeah. I think yeah. Morel is, too. I mean, I don't know. This is the thing. David has been a weight bully at 168. We're going to see if he's still trying to fight everybody once he get the light heavyweight and if he end up going to cruiserweight. Because it's different when you got that such a size advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Benavidez, man. I want to see how his legacy unfolds. I really want to see him fight those two and just bail and see him fight Bevel next. Like, or <laughs> the winner of Bevel better be. That'd be even better. Because... But I got a question question for you. What what if okay, if Terrence Crawford goes up and wait, he's gonna be slower. He's not gonna be fast. Yeah, I said that. I said that in, a, in my, my yeah, last Yeah, he's gonna while. be slow, so uh, I that's, think that's I, why I think Canelo still still gonna, gonna win. be way faster than Canelo. I don't know. Canelo, this is a thing. We're gonna tell wait and see what happens. This is a thing, this is a thing. All right. Floyd when Floyd and Canelo fought that night, Floyd was one fifty two, Canelo's one sixty five after the second weigh in. So I think if Crawford put on weight, he shouldn't try to put on 160-something like how Jamel Charlo did. He should try to get to like 150-ish and then just rely on the speed huh? and shit. He's already yeah. powerful. Don't try to get too big to where you're going to be slow, slowed down. Because yeah. Floyd yeah. wasn't that big when he beat Canelo. It was all finesse. Mm -hmm. He should be yeah, like Floyd. 160 at the weigh-in. Bro, Floyd. 150, yeah, 150, 150 yeah, the match. Bro. 160. Bro, Crawford, Don't try to get crazy, though. Huh? Crawford defense is just crazy though. He gonna rely on what you mean? What you mean by that? I think his feet work is crazy, but his defense. <laughs> like, <laughs> even if he do get slower, I think his reaction time, based on his defense performance, is gonna it's gonna help him out. Hey, I don't like his defense against Canelo. I think he I think he been kind of too stationary. And he absorbs a lot of shots. He don't want to be just sitting there with his hands up absorbing shots against Canelo because it's different. The power is going to be different. So I think he got to try to adopt a little bit of a shoulder roll uh, for this for this fight and to rely more on his footwork because he's been stationary in these last couple fights for real. Yeah. Like the fight against Abrams and the fight against Arrow, he was standing there in the pocket trading with these dudes. He don't really want to be in the pocket too much with Canelo unless he's rolling his shoulder or making some type of a move. But the fights I've seen, he's put his guard up, absorbed a lot of these dude shots, and just just um, out strength and out out bustled these guys. It, it's been crazy. Yeah, he better not do the shoulder roll thinking he got down Ryan Garcia with that bullshit. No, no, Crawford. I seen him roll his shoulders once or twice. I'm not telling him he got to adopt the Philly shell, but he got to do certain little maneuvers so where he could fight Canelo right in front of him because he don't want to be. You want to move just enough like how Floyd did. Keep yeah. the fight in the middle of the ring. You don't want to be up against the ropes when he's hitting you on your arms and shit, trying to rupture your bicep. Because Canelo ruptured Caleb Smith's bicep. You don't want to get your bicep ruptured. You don't want to get your elbow knocked out of place. You right. want to be moving. Keep a, keeps a little bit of distance between y'all. You got uh, Crawford has a, a three-inch reach advantage. So he could be jabbing Canelo and win a couple rounds just off a of jab. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. Because if he go on the mindset of knocking him out, that shit dead. Uh, I mean, who this is the thing. This is the thing. Crawford going to do him. I don't think that he's going to be. He's not going to go into the fight scared or, or worried about getting knocked out. That's not his mentality. So he fuck around and try to knock knock out Canelo. That's why this fight going to be so crazy. Because I don't think he could knock out Canelo, but I think he's going to try to. That's where the action comes in. Yo, when you got somebody as powerful uh, as, as Crawford and, and he goes in there at a disadvantage. He's going to fight for his life. So that's why it's going to be crazy. This, this fight is going to be amazing. Yeah, if you huh? if you follow uh, Crawford's career, bro, you can look him in his eyes, bro, until he, like, he wanted him. Like, he going to really try. Yeah. I, I think, think so. I feel like, bro, 
pick him apart from a jab from a distance. He should like use his jab to like keep his right. You know what I'm trying to say? He could beat him like if he's smart. Like if he Thank you. If he like this motherfucker got arms as longer than Floyd's. Yeah, I I agree with that. I feel like if he, he's smart, if he uses movement to uh, avoid getting hit by Canelo and, and uses some some tactics to like block Canelo's shots and, and hit him back from a distance and maintain the distance throughout every round, he could beat him. But if he goes in the mindset thinking that he's gonna have a brawl with Canelo, that's a terrible idea because at the end of the day, he's not gonna be able to empower all the, his other uh, opponents like he did to to Spence. He's not gonna do the same, be able to do the same shit to to Canelo because think about it. If he brawls with Canelo, they, they don't have the same power. Canelo's used to fighting bigger guys, fighting like at, at that weight. Crawford is not. You, you gotta understand that, but. Yeah, like I said, I feel like Crawford shouldn't go with that mentality of, of you know, brawling. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, like let us brawl. Look, man, a dog yeah, is going to be a dog. So I don't think, I, don't I think Crawford knows how nah, talking about. I think the they, they, they he going to go in there and be himself, and it's going to be what it's going to be. I don't think, I don't think. They just not going to let Bud walk out with them belts. Yeah, but I don't think that weight time is going to matter when you talk about Crawford ain't never fight nobody as big as Carnello, bro. Dog is a dog, bro. Dog could be small, you still win, bro. Dog is a dog, bro. You got to be a dog to understand that. Man, this is this fight is like the Connor. He, no, he said you ain't no dog, anime. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Nah, I ain't perfect. Nah, I just messing with you. I want to pick them up from a distance. If I know I got longer reach i'm gonna use my advantage to the to the my best of my ability i'm not gonna be a dumb they dummy and exchange shots when i can i can literally pick them apart from a distance like that's my how God, that only works when you the a side that don't that don't work no, when that, that yes work that works now, let me tell you on something. you bro crawford, what, look what crawford has speed bro crawford has a speed advantage dummy he could use his speed to hit hey, that's a good point. and not get hit right? and on top of that let me that's tell you something point. crawford also has a side so he has but think about it though Think about it. If the fight is anywhere near even, it always goes to the A side. They're going to get, if, if that fight is not, even if it's dominant, bro, like if it's not 100% dominant where the ref steps in and stops it, if it's 80% dominant, 70% dominant, that shit's still probably going to go to Canelo by, by like a split you know decision. Why, you know why he's right? Floyd dominated Canelo and one of the judges had it as a draw. Bro. Tank dominated disgusting. Ryan, and they still gave disgusting. him the round where they <laughs> not, they gave him like what a 10 9. Ryan got knocked down, and they, they scored it a 10 10 round, yeah, exactly, bro. They're not giving Bud no disgusting. decision, no, because Bevo got a whole four round, uh, five rounds on Canelo, and they gave him, yeah, but we gotta understand too. And one thing that you're not factoring in is Bevo a, a brother or is Bevo Russian? <laughs> no, it make, it nah, make a difference. Got that, uh, that, that complexion for the protection, you dig? Complexion for the protection for the connection. Bevo Asian. Bevo got it. He not, he not Russian. Nah, he Vegas Asian. saw an opportunity to make another GGG, so they let they let Bevo have that one. That's what happened. He, had, he beat, Plus, he he beat he his ass, ass, but they let him have that one because Vegas wins at the end of the day. Man, a 12. Canelo, a, Canelo again. Hey, make sure y'all tapping that screen if you in the chat, man. Hey, what yeah, you think, what you think Boots should though. do since Crawford is uh running like a bitch? What you think Boots should do? Damn. <laughs> man, Crawford, let me tell you something, David. Boxer, Crawford has to get the, the biggest. He about to retire, man. He got to get this money. What you want him to be out this bitch fighting for $300,000? Man, I'll chip he in. We can all chip in. We can get my extra. He has a chance to make generational wealth against Canelo right now, man. Man, these boxers be forgetting that they entertainers, bro. They don't be putting no work in their image, bro. Man, they get some boots. They get some boots. Yeah, boots. Yeah. Boots and with Bud too. But they, yeah, they, they're. That's one thing about people mad about Ryan, but Ryan put himself in position to get the tank fight. A lot of these motherfuckers lazy or they scared. They don't want. They really don't want to be the man because when you the man, everybody watches. It's all eyes on you, like Tupac. Now I don't think Bud was scared. I don't know boot scare, but some people they just don't have it in their personality to market themselves. But a lot of other fighters, I do think they'd be scared to market themselves. Man. But boots, I think it's just not his personality to really market himself. I don't know. Shit, some I got dudes the is really blueprint for boots, my mellow. boy. All boots gotta do, pick an influencer, pick an MMA fighter, don't matter. Pick any one of them clowns, knock them out, take a year off, start doing hella streams with all these fucking kids and shit, bro. Come back, fight another YouTuber, and then you straight. <laughs> 
<laughs> then his third fight is going to be going to stop doing screens with these kids. Bro, hey, people sleep. Sure, do you, people do you, sleep because boxing fans ain't paying the bills no more. Do y'all do y'all do y'all remember Amir Khan versus uh Canelo? Wasn't Amir Khan winning all five rounds before yeah. he got slipped? I even called yep. that too though, bro. I told one of my cousins. Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant was winning too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people was winning against Canelo and then he caught up to them with the power in the later rounds. That could happen. That could happen with Crawford, but Canelo not active with his hands, bro. Canelo Canelo active, walk around bro. with his hands up. Like Canelo and Tank, they have a lot of similarities in their style. They walk around with they with they guard up. They don't throw that many punches. So most of the time they be losing their fights. If you look at 154, 160 though, Canelo, he do this man to throw a 10 piece though. It's as he go up more and more in weight, he stopped throwing less and less the heavier he get. Like, light heavy. I mean, when Canelo get you on the ropes, he still open up. But yeah, you're right. When he was at 154, he'd get a motherfucker in a 12 round against Lar. He threw like an eight piece. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. Against Triple G at 160. I got Terrence beating Canelo, man. And I and and I and I think I think I think it's I think it's uh, pretty um, decisive. I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Boxing is about angles. It's about angles. It's about foot speed. It's about arm length. It's about spacing. Terence Crawford has all of that. Facts. One thing I, I I understand and I know about Canelo is, yes, Canelo is a is a is a counter puncher. He's a master counter puncher. Terence is going to be faster. Terence is going to have better agility. This is why. This is why. Um, um my guy is going to be uh fury this is why i say he gonna be fury because fury has never been in the ring with nobody with more agility more agility see what people got to realize is that agility Usyk is not beating fury hell he's gonna no. be he's no no he's gonna be fury i'm a and that's another that's I another mean, breakdown that's another breakdown let him finish his point let him finish his point but uh uh terrence People say, well, he's going up three weight classes. Yeah, he's going up three weight classes. But I'm telling y'all, boxing is, is an illusion, right? Because I've been boxing for, I've been around boxing. I used to box myself, been in a lot of gyms. I seen big guys, spar small guys, and all that stuff, right? Boxing is an illusion. What happened with Canelo is the reason why Canelo can go up and wait because he has the body frame and the width from his shoulder to shoulder to be able to handle going up and wait. But if Canelo really was dedicated to boxing, he can fight at 160 easy. If he was dedicated to really being in shape, Canelo likes to That's eat. Canelo, Can Canelo likes to eat, man. Let's just put it that and way. Drink, and drink. And drink. So drink and put weight, put weight on you. Because my uncles never used to drink. Put drink and put weight on you. So yeah, he's heavier than than, than Crawford. But that doesn't mean that Crawford can't go in. Basically, what you're saying is Canelo really is an undersized super middleweight, which is true. That's another reason Crawford has a chance. But what you're missing, what you're not saying is this. Canelo is uh, genetically enhanced. Canelo has been on that shit. He's, he's failed multiple uh, performance-enhancing drug tests. That's true. So that's, that's true. one of the things where Ain't nobody like, catching him now, though. power that he never felt before. <laughs> Bucky, dragging you up. <laughs> That's why Canelo this motherfucker done got good hey, at that shit back. now, though. Let's get back to Usyk and Fury, though. Let's get back to Usyk and Fury real quick. How Usyk okay. gonna be Fury? Okay. Gonna so you remember, you remember, y'all Yo. remember a couple, not a couple years ago, about five, six years. You, you remember he fought Cunningham, right? I remember he fought yeah. Cunningham. Hey, Tyrese, right? you want to blog? He fought Cunningham, and mm -hmm. Tyson Fury said that was the that was the hardest fight of his life. You know why? The, why was that the hardest fight of his life? <laughs> He just because don't want to get Cunningham, Because Cunningham, Cunningham was faster. How do you feel about Camille Morgan? He had, the, he had the agility that, Pull up, Ken, that, that, that Fury had never seen and dealt with before, not even in the build-up to the fight, in the sparring. Because what Fury thought was, my size is going to overcome this little man. What he don't understand about, and this is what people don't understand about Usyk, Usyk himself is, is is a pretty strong guy. Usyk is not little. His legs are not little like like Deontay Wilder legs. He's a nice, stout, good, sturdy guy. He's going to be able to withstand that trying to hold me and 
lean on me and all that shit. He's not gonna be able to do that to lean on me. He's not gonna be he's not gonna be able to do that. Him tired, and plus, and plus, hit him right with a body shot. And plus, and he Fury right is not the same fighter he was not four even, years now, ago. Now talk sports. Hey, talk sports. I'm gonna ask you a question. Then I'm gonna let Kenfo go. But what the fuck is uh, Usyk gonna do when Fury hit him to the body? Because you know your boy Usyk. He weak to the body, man. You I, can't I, deny I, it. I, I get that. I get that. He's weak to the body. And I and who's going to be first to punch? It's going to be Fury, bro. Fury's no, going to no, be no, first no, to punch. I, 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 see, I see that he's weak to the body. I see that he's weak to the body. And the game plan is going to be going to his body. Okay. Okay. Go to his body. You gonna have gonna you gonna get countered upstairs. You got you better worry about the counters upstairs because Usyk gonna be countering you upstairs when you go. He's gotta reach him. He gotta touch him. Usyk not really no power puncher. No, you no no no. He don't have to be a power puncher to drop him. He don't have to be a power puncher to drop him. He gonna counter. He gonna counter. He gonna counter him. And you're right. If he catch him right, he could drop him. But my thing is this: Usyk, um, he was outboxing Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua wasn't really that skilled, and Anthony Joshua is not damn near three hundred pounds. So. Very more skilled than Joshua. Got... He, big... it's a, he has a seventy pound uh, weight advantage on this man, so that's going. It's going to play some type of. Point. Joshua is more explosive, more explosive than Fury, win. though. Joshua is more explosive than Fury, though. He's more. But yeah, that's fact. But, but I gotta that's let my man Kenfo. I gotta let my man Kenfo speak, man. Kenfo, what's up? How do you feel about Kamel Morton coming out the closet? I don't know nothing about that. I, I thought you were talking about boxing, bro. All right, careful. <laughs> hey, hey, am I tripping, bro, or do y'all, or do y'all see similarities in Usyk and Lomachenko style? Huh? I yeah, said, both, I said, am I both tripping? From Ukraine. Do, yeah, yeah, I know they're from the same country, but I'm like, am I tripping, bro, or do they fight the same? Like they similar? Who? Who? Usyk and Lomachenko. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they got the same trainer. They Loma's dad trained both of them. Oh, I ain't even know that. I ain't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, they, Eastern European. All they do is. They jump in and out and they look for angles. That's it. So I if you know how to angles. turn with the angle, you could beat them. If you know how to turn with the angle, if you got decent athleticism, you could beat them. Hey, and hate, they both weak to the Hey, body. I hate I, I, I hate to say this too, y'all. Fury huh? punch resistance is not the same it was after that Deontay Wilder fight. Facts. Oh, for facts, sure. That chin facts. cracked. Facts. I told people that too. Like it wasn't just that uh Fury might have cheated with them damn gloves, but he went to war with Deontay Wilder, was dropped multiple times by one of the hardest hitters ever. So uh, he may be damaged goods, and Wilder may be damaged goods as well. That's what happens when you go when you get in a real war, a real spiritual war in the boxing ring. Like you, you lose a lot of reflexes, you lose a lot of uh, a lot of that pep that you had in your step. Wilder been getting dropped. I'm not Wilder. Um, Fury been getting dropped for a while now too. He only got dropped by the yeah. gone dude. Hey, hey, was, this is why this is why team. when fighters fight each other, when they understand a real one, when another fighter see a real one and they know they got they have to go through tooth and nail to beat that guy. This is why these guys don't hurry up and get in the ring with each other. Because Terrence that, Crawford because when he you sees can, boots in because, it. because you can you're gonna get damaged in the fight, whether you win, lose, or draw. You're gonna get damaged. That's facts. You're never gonna be the same. Even when you come back and you still great, you will never move as fast as you used to move. Your your uh, shit. You might start uh, slurring your words. You might start stuttering after you fight a real one, and you a real one. That's why. But I don't know. This is the thing. I think it was, it's best to do to fight young. Like if you're in your early twenties, make those fights, and then fight a bunch of showcase fights, and then come back True. in your thirties and make some hard fights. True. But a lot of these dudes, because of the age they at, like Tank already pushing thirty, so he just gotta hurry up and make these fights happen. And I think that they holding them off until the end of his career because they know. He may get damaged, and he's even if he win the fights, he not, his body not gonna be the same. He already shorter. Tank he's goofy be too, years bro. Old, five, Don't five, five, hey, how Don't old y'all think? How old do y'all think Thomas Hearns was when he fights, fought Ray Leonard? Nobody want to see Terrence Crawford and Canelo. We want to see these niggas fighting the Young Lions. Tank better fight Devin. The end times is coming. We don't got much time before the rapture comes, bro. Like that is true. How old, got, how old, old do y'all think your boy, Thomas Hearns uh, was when he fought Ray Leonard? Guess. Oh, they was in their early twenties. Yeah, they're it? both in their twenties. It was Ray yeah, Leonard was, was, was one, but that's why that fight was one of the best fights ever. Hearns though. was twenty two years old. Ray Leonard was what, what twenty four? Ray Leonard nah, was, was twenty five. He was twenty uh, six. He was twenty five. They fought multiple. So, they fought multiple. Times. That's why that fight was so exciting. You you don't really get anything like that, and they and they both was already seasoned seasoned professionals. Yup, that's when they took. That's why that fight seriously. was probably the best fight ever. 
Hey, to be real, bro, Tank could have fought most of these dudes in his twenties and been damn near talking about retirement right now. Bro. Yeah, you right they, about yeah. that. He could have fought Tio when he was at one thirty five too. Yeah. yeah. He could have fought. Him was right never gonna let that he could have fought. After he he could have fought Haney when he was calling him out at one thirty five. Yeah. No, nah, Haney, Haney. Probably, he so we all know what happened with Loma. At one forty, I don't know. And we all we all know what happened with Loma. He could fight Shakur. He could yeah. fight. Dela, and they already, when, hey, when and they Dela already admitted the they can't with, do uh, what Penel we do against Shakur. Twenty-three years old. Dela Hoya hmm? fought Penel Whitaker. He was twenty-three. Twenty-three. And guess what? Dela Hoya really supposed to lose that fight. But I went back and watched that shit. Uh, yeah. Penel Whitaker was uh, he was he was not the same fighter because he didn't take care of his body. He was nope. using different substances and shit. He still was better than De La Hoya. That shit was sick. Facts, I was facts. Mad. I was mad at that. Sweet P was whipping that ass too. But you know what? I did. I went back and looked at it about five years ago. I mean, it gets close. It was a close fight. It was a close fight. It was. Close. It was a close. Fight. At the end of the day, if Sweet P wasn't wasn't on the certain stuff that he was on, yeah. Uh, you know, if he was keeping his nose clean, yeah, he was getting high. He would have dominated yeah, 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 the same high. way that he dominated Chavez. Who but they used to like, he always robbed Sweet P. They robbed Sweet Pea with motherfucker Ramirez, Chavez, like um, fucking uh, De La Hoya. They always wanted to rob Sweet Pea for whatever reason. Benavidez or Bivol? That's stuff I want to see. Uh, that fight is interesting. I'm, I'm taking Benavidez. I got Bivol. I got Bivol. Uh, the De La fight was solid. Sweet Pea lost that. I got Bivol. Benavidez. I think Benavidez. I mean, there's a reason why Benavidez went back down to 168 after he lost that belt for not making weight. He, he he wrote a whole letter to the WBC. Oh no, made me go back to 168, not 175. He was scared of better be like party too. Well, at the end of the day, if he if he was to get if Canelo wasn't playing duck duck goose and Benavides was able to get a chance to get all the belts become undisputed, what would that do for his legacy? Imagine that I was undisputed at 168. Now I go to a uh, light heavyweight and I become undisputed. So it's all about legacy at the end of the day. He's a young man. He should get a fair shot at being able to. Um, Become undisputed or going at the the, uh, the champion. That's how it goes. Canelo just being uh, Canelo being selfish. Though. Canelo being selfish. He being selfish because see that's what the old lion should give the young lion a shot to see if he can pass the test. If he don't yeah, pass the test, Klitschko did it. Yeah, Klitschko did it. Klitschko did. Hey, yeah, Lennox Floyd, Lewis did it. Floyd did it. Lennox Lewis Floyd, did it. Canelo, this is really why Canelo ain't shit. Floyd did it. Yeah, Floyd, Floyd gave did Canelo Floyd a did it. at 23 yeah, to did. become the man. He didn't have to fight so Canelo. Canelo. He didn't have to fight Canelo. Canelo really either. not that, bro. He didn't have to Canelo fight really Canelo. Not that. He didn't have to fight Canelo. Lennox yeah, Lewis. At all. Lennox Lewis, too. He fought Klitschko. He gave him that shot after he fought Tyson. And what happened? Lennox won. The old line beat young. Uh, But but I remember Klitschko was winning that fight low key. But they cut, they stopped because it's cut, right? 23 is years before his prime. Don't nobody want to hear this shit. Hell no. 20, you 23 and 42. But hey, bro. hey, he was, he was in his prime when he fought Shane Mosley before Floyd, right? It was all cool then. Right. When he beat up on Mosley, they was all happy. Viva, uh, De Mexico. But when he lose, now he's too young. Hey, I was talking about you, Shane Mosley and Oscar. All that hip hop, man. Duck and Floyd before they fought him. It's sort of like, I don't know, everybody doing the same with the best fighters. Like they're gonna duck them. They're gonna say, oh, it's this and that. But they really ducking them. Like, uh, you see De La Hoya duck reason, Floyd. Basically the reason, only reason why people fought Floyd was because of the money. De La Hoya yeah. gave Floyd a shot for real, for real. Cause Floyd wasn't no, no star at all. He could have um, fought him he was lightweight. Going, he I remember that. Cool hey, I told everybody De La Hoya was one of those fighters that could have fought anybody and got paid. Because yeah, because he he was he was bigger than boxing. So once you get into that realm, it don't matter if you win or lose. The motherfucker's still coming out. <laughs> like yeah. De La Hoya lost most of his best fights. He's De La Hoya could have waited till everybody got old to fight them. He could have waited till Trinidad show some wear and tear. He could have waited till yep. Shane Mosley show some wear and tear, and none of his fans would have said nothing about it. I'm nah, telling you, May, I'm telling no no no. What Mayweather was able to do, De La Hoya could have did that. Be but De La Hoya, his Mexicans, his Mexican fans told him, "Nah, man, you gotta go fight." That, what is he doing? Hey, somebody, somebody, mute your mic. David, mute your mic. Hey, somebody, mute your mic. Hey, hey, talk sports. Come back up later. I just mute your mic. You got us on remix and shit. Is Talk Sports trying to say that Floyd waited till people got old, bro? Why do people? No, 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 no. I'm not saying Floyd waited till everybody got old. What I'm saying is, De La Hoya could have waited until Trinidad had wear and tear. 
He could have waited to Shane Mosley had where what I'm saying is he could have picked and choose the time and the time when he wanted to fight everybody because he was good. He, he was getting paid no matter what. Delahoy was making money no matter what. Talk sports. Do you know what happened with Floyd? Floyd called these dudes out in his, his 20s. Yeah, he did. He did. They didn't, he, he did. Floyd was Floyd was high risk, low reward. The yeah, only reason did. they fought Floyd outside of De La Hoya, I'm not talking about De La Hoya, but he called De La Hoya out earlier too. But the yeah. only reason the other guys fought Floyd in their 30s is because Floyd became a star. He called De La Hoya out earlier too. David, you got to the mic, bro. Now, now I'm 47 years old, so I seen I seen Mayweather when he was in the Olympics. I, I remember looking at it mm -hmm. when he was in the Olympics. So what what I'm gonna say is this. Um, De La Hoya gave Mayweather a shot. May, 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 Mayweather was able to beat him and become a superstar because beating De La Hoya at that time uh, catapulted you. The only it, it it didn't catapult Trinidad because Trinidad didn't didn't really capitalize off of it. I think I think Trinidad retired after a couple after another fight. He fought another time. Somebody retired. got damn baby. Hey, whoever with the baby, you got to mute your mic. And David, you got to mute your mic because your mic keep uh, replaying shit, bro. Oh, it do. Damn. All right. All right. Yeah. So when you're not talking, just have it mute. When you want to talk, unmute it. Now, I just hear a lot of people say that, though, bro, like a lot of Floyd haters, because I'm like, bro, they act like this man was in a time machine. When he fights somebody younger than him, they don't got enough experience. When he fights somebody that's the same age, they too old. When he fights somebody that's fast or he was running, like, they just got an excuse every time. And I'm like, bro, their skills are not better than Floyd. It's just point blank. At the end of the day, that's what happened when you make it to the mountaintop. Floyd, Floyd, a black man, people are not just going to bow down and be like, yes, he was the best. If, if Floyd was Conor McGregor and did what Floyd did as a boxer, they would be calling him the best thing since sliced bread. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. Yeah, Floyd always And, and Canelo is not like, somebody says all fighters get criticized like that, just like Canelo. That's partially true, but Canelo, he's not Floyd. Canelo has already lost. Like he, and he has more losses that should be on his record. He really should have like four losses. Um, so Canelo don't get criticized enough. The man, the man failed two drug tests. He's still headlining pay-per-views. He, he's still undisputed at 168 uh, pounds somehow, somewhere. Turn left onto Whitehall Commons Shopping Center Drive. Boxing Jackson, you gotta uh, mute your mic. I just think when you got Siri and shit or Google Maps and shit. I just think <laughs> when people look at his career, bro, they just be like, nah, nah. He, we need to see this again, nah, bro. He ain't. That was too perfect, bro. Nah. That's how I think. Like, that's crazy, bro. Nothing about the money, too. They just don't want to believe somebody could be that great. In half a mile, turn right onto West Arrowwood Road. <laughs> Road. In, my, in my opinion, like, the, the best. Get away from him. He's a great fighter. It was I just feel Pablo that. Sanchez. Uh, he was smart the way he picked his fights at the end of his career. He picked the right fights. How do you how do you make three hundred million in, in one night who picking picked, your fights? Who picked the right fights? Who picked the right fights? But in his team, Floyd was very smart coming up, and like he told, but he always this says this too. He tells, "I'm not the type of boxer that's going to give you a war because I'm not there to get be brain dead when I'm older. I'm here to I'm a prize fighter. I'm gonna make my prize money, which he's still. He's but I'm a great saying fighter, when though. you fight in, when you fight when you fight in Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, Shane Mosley. These dudes is killers. How is you picking the fight? Don't, like none of those are cherry picks. None of them. Cherry pick. Berto was a cherry pick. Is, that was his last fight. That was fine. Yeah, what it, I'm saying. Nah, and Gregor was a cherry pick. Yeah, what I'm saying to you is the money fight. the money fight. Yeah, what I'm saying to you is with Floyd. Man, they counted on that pro record team. though. Bro, he beat the most world oh, champions around. in history. You can't cherry pick and beat the most world champions in history. Thank no, you I'm not just can't. It don't matter what you say. Bro. But hold on, hold on. DJ, go ahead and get your, DJ, go ahead and get your point, man. All right, he basically trying to say Floyd's style. He was smart. His style. That, that's just his style, bro. That's like. No, no, no. I got to hear. I didn't hear the DJ finish what you saying. No, I was saying that I've been watching Floyd since he was in the Olympics. Great fighter. And then he had some tough fights coming up. And then when he changed up was he went from pretty boy Floyd after he fought De La Hoya and then became the money team. After that De La Hoya fight, which catapulted him into what he was doing. You know, he played the bad guy in boxing for a long time. People used to come watch to see his fights so he could lose, but he never lost. He's just real nice with that shoulder roll. So what's, but the, he did what's have the summation, fights. man? What's the conclusion? No, that he did have fights that he struggled in, like the Castillo fight. Some say he lost that fight. And even the second fight, they thought he lost that fight. 
But, but <laughs> no, I had to <laughs> take away from the brace. Like he lost the second fight. He beat the brace off and still in the second fight. What's the conclusion of what you're saying about what's the, what's the uh, summation about Floyd? What you want us to get? What you getting at? That man said the second fight. He's crazy. I enjoy. I enjoy watching Floyd fight throughout the years. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, he know he wasn't in there with some like you said he was in there with some killers, but the reality is that a lot of those killers were beyond their time. He didn't fight. But Floyd was in Pacquiao at his prime. He fought him later and Pac Man, Man, him in Pacquiao. That that wasn't entirely his fault though. He tried. Yeah, yeah. Number one, like David said, Floyd is older than Manny. Number two, Pac Man didn't want to take a drug test. So who fought is that? We all we all know De La Hoya and Floyd relationship, right? De La Hoya don't particularly like Floyd. Floyd don't really like him, but De La Hoya right. came out and said, I could tell y'all in 2010 for a fact that fight didn't happen because Pacquiao didn't want to take the drug test. Thank you. Freddie Rose said it. Floyd fuck around and stopped him in 2010, to be honest. Yeah, because Pacquiao got a wild style. Pacquiao has a style where it, he he's perfectly made. He's tailor made for Mayweather. Mayweather's a counter puncher. Pacquiao likes to jump in with no uh, defense, respect, no regard for, for his face or nothing. That's why he almost died in the Marquez fight. <laughs> no, for sure, bro. He was a little bit more reckless though before Marquez put him in the dirt and shit. But he, you know, he still was reckless after that. I think what you, I think Floyd should have uh, and Prince Hasim duck Floyd too. And Costa Zoo on HBO. Boy, he would have beat the break off Prince uh Prince I seen, boy. Yeah. And he would stop him and he would stop Costa Zoo. Yeah, I remember after Prince one of Mayweather off. fights, May, uh Mayweather was like, I want to fight Prince Nassim and dudes said, No, nah, Prince Nassim ain't gonna fight you after, after this performance. <laughs> I remember that fight. Mayweather had dominated somebody. And dude was like, man, Prince not seen ain't finna fight you after this performance. You know he not finna fight you. Yeah, Prince not seen was got the break. Because Prince was more of a circus act. He wasn't really like no top, top dominant dude. Like they do that. The UK fighter, if you're in the UK, they could make your career out to where you could fuck around and go undefeated and never really have to fight some of the top dudes in the world. Like they did that with um with that white boy uh that fought an old ass Roy Jones and the old ass Bernard Hopkins. Um he had oh, real uh, Joe, Joe Calzaghi. Yeah, Calzaghi. Man, Joe, man, UK man, hold on. Joe Calzaghi was a great fighter, though, man. Whoa, hold on. Oh, Joe Calzaghi was real good, but the only way that we know you're great is if you go up against somebody else great. So Calzaghi went up against the old-ass Roy and the old-ass Bernard Hopkins when he had the opportunity to fight both of them in their prom. So, no, that's what I'm saying about the UK. They know how to really decorate a motherfucker's career. Prince Nassim, if he fights Floyd, he's looked at different uh, after Floyd taxed that ass than he's looked at now. Now he's get to be remembered as just a, a great circus act. And um, he only got, I think he only got like one loss on his record or some shit. If you yeah, would have fought Floyd, uh, he, he lost to my guy, what's his name? Fight. The baby face assassin. Barrera. Look at Barrera. Barrera. Yeah, huh? Barrera. He lost to Barrera. Barrera. Yeah, that's what I say. He only got yeah. like the one loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you would have fought Floyd, Floyd would have did him like how he did Gotti. That would that would look bad. Like people look at Errol Spence totally different now after the Crawford fight. So that's why these dudes be avoiding these, these mega fights because a lot of them, they don't want to be remembered in a certain way. Terrence Crawford. I think that I'm going to be a man. Terrence Crawford or Mayweather. I got Terrence Crawford. Who y'all uh, got? Mayweather. What do you mean? And he's better. If you go 36 for 36, it'll be the Floyd that fought Canelo. So I got I got Floyd bro. The defense is just too good. He's not going to be able to take the defense. Floyd is 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 I think he did because Crawford, a lot of what he be doing to be be like athleticism and shit. Um, he could box though; he got great timing. But a lot of it be like, I'm fast. I'm gonna counter. I hit hard as shit. And he likes to brawl a lot. I think Floyd was just making a slow ass fight, a jabbing fight, and then literally just y'all people will be complaining. But I think Floyd was just boxing. Well, for the him. first time, Floyd to be in the ring with somebody arms longer than his. Hey, Floyd. Yeah, well, hey, yeah, he Floyd. So I don't know if he's gonna win the Tony jabbing Pat. the jabbing contest. Hey. Because if y'all hey. go back Tony and look Pat at that De La Hoya fight with, between him and De La Hoya, when De La Hoya was using his jab, De La Hoya was having a lot of success. Hey, but Tony yeah. Pepper had hey. arms up. Hey, hey, but but, but hey, hey, the going? closest we'll probably see to that fight would be a Crawford and Ennis fight. But Crawford don't want to give us that fight. 
So what should we do? Maybe Crawford give it to us after he fights Canelo. Who knows? <laughs> he ain't gonna give it to us. He's gonna retire like the old bastard that he is. He's not hey, gonna hey, 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 since we talking about Crawford versus Canelo, I know Boots ain't really proved himself yet, but do y'all think do y'all think Crawford and Boots could pretty much do the same the same thing? Yeah, yeah he got a math skill for skill for Joe. So y'all think Boots could give Canelo a good fight? Skill for skill for show. Sure. I think skill for skill, that'd be the best fight in boxing. Is Ken Crawford Bo Boots just got to prove himself, though. That's a, good, so, 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 that's, a whole, that's a good question. He said, do we think Boots could give Canelo a good fight? I would say no. I would say no. Boots fucks up Canelo. Think Bud Boots stops Canelo. Canelo. Fight, and that's the reason why I think Bud probably would beat Boots, bro. I would say Boots would stop Stops Canelo. Canelo. I don't care what nobody say. Boots stops Canelo. Who How's, Canelo Canelo? Gonna, how's Canelo going to beat Boots? How can Canelo going to beat Boots? Bro, how I don't think Boots going to be in there with nobody like that. I had to he don't get my like, 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 lifetime of experience, or skill. man. That's the only reason why I think Bud got a chance. And Canelo has a lifetime of experience. Boots still on learning for real, for real. Yeah, Yo, that's what I said. He got to prove But you saying he's learning, but who wants to step up and fight him? Nobody. Not even at 154, at 160. The, the fight with Boots, 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 Boots is going to happen. How is that his own fault? How is that his own fault? Canelo, you think he's going to win or some shit? That sounds crazy. You could be right. But nah, man. I wouldn't bet no money on that shit. Boots is up and coming at an awkward time right now. You know how Canelo looked at, Canelo looked at, whatchamacallit, and he got mad against Laura? He going to look just like that against Boots. He gonna try to tag him and Boots gonna just keep touching his ass up. Yo, Watch. did you That's see? Do you see how Boots look against Karen? Question: Why, why could, why Floyd avoided fighting? We know he got a paper chin, but why Floyd avoided, uh, uh, avoided fighting Mirakhan? He avoided that he didn't fight. Avoid him? He could have. Yeah, he he Floyd was gonna fight Kell Brook. I know he, he got a paper chin, avoided. but. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. The man had hand speed, and ain't too many people was going to really beat him on points. Yeah, you're going to knock him out if you tap listen, it, listen, if you listen, breathe on him the right way. Do you know that Floyd Mayweather cracked um, Victor Ortiz's jaw? He gave him a hairline fracture in his jaw. I can get all yeah. that, but he avoided Maricom no, 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 for no, no, reason, listen, man. Did, did you know that? Yes, did you know that? Did you know that Floyd fractured um, Victor Ortiz's jaw? Gave him a hairline fracture in his jaw. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I ain't know Floyd. Okay, yeah. I just know Floyd would have knocked Floyd. Marathon the fuck out, bro. I hate the. I don't know if nobody ever told you. Yeah, where there was Floyd would have knocked. You missed what out. I just said. You, 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 you. I said, listen. The no, first I thing I said, I said, I know he yeah, has a paper you? chin. I said, I know I can knock American out, right? But I'm just, <laughs> you probably could. listen. Take the paper chin away. We just talking about. Hand speed. He didn't want to have to deal with that. Like he didn't want to have to deal with like Canelo. Look what Canelo did. Listen, look what Canelo did. If you go look at that fight, right? He did a smart thing. Canelo said, you know what? Let me just sit and wait. Because if he would have went in there being Canelo, you would have look at Danny Garcia. All these dudes caught this man on the chin, but they always losing before they knocked him out because he got he got a paper chin. So, 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 so what happened at like the that? end though? That's what I'm saying. Hey, how no, they, if you think that if they could do listen. it, if Canelo and Danny and all these dudes could do it, Floyd could do it better. Because Floyd, Floyd better than is better. Yeah, Floyd's Floyd, is better. Than I, I'm just saying, I'm just talking about points, as far as Yo. points. I'm, 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 I'm repeat myself. I know the man got a paper chin, my nigga. Right? <laughs> but we just saying that what if some people don't want them problems? Because what if you don't land that shot? And they gotta go to the scorecards. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? No bro. Goddamn you know, bro. I, I thought it was. Hey, I, I didn't mean game. though, bro. I guess from a point I'm talking about when we had around the time, around the time when we had the six, the six pay per view, the uh, the the uh, the six uh, fights we pay of uh, was Showtime when he had that when I was going on. American was supposed to be one of them fights, but he ended up fighting um. He ended up fighting. No, it wasn't. It was supposed What's to be Kel Brook. Right? It wasn't no, he, to be he, he, he ended up fighting. Marcos 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 because Kel Brook had the other belt. It wasn't supposed to be in Mir Khan. That's no, he lie. ended up fighting Marcos Maidana because he just beat Adrian Broner. And Adrian yeah, Broner was like twice. a test for he didn't, he didn't fight. He didn't have to fight Marcos Maidana twi twice. You know what I'm saying? Mir Khan. No, he did have to fight Maidana twice. They were saying Floyd lost that. When he put a pole up, though. When he put a pole up. Whenever somebody say Floyd lost a fight, he gave you the rematch. That's the difference between Floyd and a lot of these motherfuckers today. Now, absolutely. No, listen, I'm not disputing. Nick, Nick, in my eyes, Floyd the greatest. So we're going to stop this. So, so when you hear me talking, so I'm, not, I'm not. If you think the greatest is going to duck Amir Khan, my brother. Bro, make listen, it sense. If you great, listen, if you <laughs> great, you great, right? Hey, when you great, you great. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, listen, we're going to make it make sense. 
My nigga, listen, if you great, you great, right? But at the end of the day, even niggas that's great and know they craft, they master they craft, which he did, you still got, like Floyd always say, that's why he never took a night off. That's why a lot of these champions get knocked out by the tuna fight guy. You know, the tuna fight guy, when we take a tuna fight, right, and, then that, right. and then they get knocked out because they overlook them niggas. They don't know, this This the man, work, he worked for DPW in this state. He hungry, hungry. See what I'm saying? So Floyd always, that's why I say he, for me, he's the most disciplined athlete ever. Yeah, he's well, he one of, because there's a lot, there's a lot of disciplined athletes, bro, but he's one of them. No, he, bro, Rocky Marciano, Rocky Marciano was probably more disciplined than Floyd. No, but I, like if you look, if you look at Marciano regimen, nobody ever trained like that. No, but as far as the training is good. But I'm saying, I know, but let's, let's focus on this right here. He <laughs> might be the greatest disciplined athlete of all time. Why? Football players can't even go to fucking Vegas for the weekend without getting in trouble. He lived there. Never let that shit bother him. A lot of athletes can't go to City of Sin, man. That's a great point. That's a great Think point. Think about it, bro. He living in the City of Sin. Niggas can't even, they tell other athletes, hey, man, be careful when you go out there. All of a sudden, they, end, they find themselves in the news. But he lived there, bro. He yeah. lived Floyd, Floyd, I, think, I, feel, I think Floyd, the way he looked at it was like, since he lived in the Lions, then you couldn't. It's like if somebody lived in a battlefield, right. like they always ready. I think that's why he did it like that. Yeah, he don't like, see all types he of always always He don't see no like stars in front of millions of people. Right. So a lot of his opponents, when they came to that Lions, then they'd be shook just off of how big the crowd was. But Floyd right. forced himself to live in that superstar environment. Right. Well, if not, if not if, if, if being focused though. Always being focused. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So on that, but I just think with me, I'm not saying he. I just think that. I'm not gonna say he ducked it. I don't want you to think I'm scared or nothing. I just think like, you know what? Some fighters be like, I don't need to fight that motherfucker. And I'm not fighting because he is, you know, because he is fast and he had longer arms than, than a lot of these dudes. Let's just keep it real. But he this right here he had that paper with my chin. So he had that paper with my shape chin, and that's what that's what I mean. Everybody got their fucking I'm Achilles heel like man. that. I'm gonna tell you this. I never thought I'd hear man come up here uh talking about Amir Khan and Floyd Duck and America. Never, I would have never bet money that anybody would ever come up here and say, Why Floyd ain't playing Mir Kong? I don't want to play the word. Yeah, I, like I, I don't want to. I want to use the word ducking. I take that back. But I just think that. Man. Shout out bro, to you, man. I think he's saying it'll be interesting, I guess, because of American speed, which I, I could see that. I could see how it'd be interesting, but I don't think it would have been interesting. It'd have been just like the time American versus Terrence Crawford. Like it would have got stopped on some bullshit. Just. Like those those dudes that come in there with a, a one track mind, just like how Victor Ortiz came in there with a one track mind against Floyd. I'm just gonna rough him up and throw a bunch of punches. The fight is gonna get stopped on oh, some bullshit, absolutely. like because absolutely, it, it is, I don't know how how it it, it turn, turns out like that because same thing happened with Crawford. Crawford was fucking American up. American got hit with one low blow. He used that to get out the fight. Um, Ortiz he got hit while the referee was talking. No, he hit but Floyd. And then was trying to talk to him or some shit, and Floyd popped the shit out of him. He could have got back up, but he used to get out of the fight because yeah. they came in there with only one plan. So when you when you that one plan fell, what they try to do? They start trying to measle their way out of the fucking fight. That's how I think the fight would have went with Floyd and Amir Khan. Floyd would have been fucking him up round yeah, round I six or seven. Amir Khan would have acted like he pulled something and been like, "Hey, fuck this, my hamstring, <laughs> my ass." So I, I think I think I think was exactly what Canelo did. I think that's how that Floyd fight would have did. I'm not saying that Floyd wouldn't have won the fight. I just feel like some fighters be like, I don't even want to go through the headache. I don't feel like thinking that much. Because you got to sit. He had to sit. With somebody with hand speed, Floyd would have sat for about four rounds. I know Floyd. Floyd think about it. And I don't think, I, I'm be honest with you, like, I don't think Floyd look at Amir Khan and be like, yeah, I really got us. Word, I got a game plan for this month. Bro. I think Floyd look at Amir Khan like fool, boy. Like, I don't think he really. It's a difference between somebody being nah. respectful in front of the camera. No, nah, but, but behind the scenes, Floyd would laugh at Amir he, Khan for real. Like he, I'm just keeping he, it on. Nah, Floyd, he would, Floyd, he would Floyd, walk Floyd, through Brooke is over threat. No, see, I don't even know why we have that. I never thought I'd be he, having this conversation. No, but <laughs> listen, but see, you you laughing at this fact when y'all missing the key point. Amir Khan. First of all, first of all I, I, I'm 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 agreeing with y'all saying I believe Floyd would have <laughs> won the fight. I believe he would have beat that <laughs> But I'm saying is, you know how, listen, let me put it like You this. sound like Malcolm X. Nah, nah, <laughs> real shit. This, this one, you know, DMX said it, the recipe is DMX. He said it the best. This is what he, this I'm going to put in, 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 this, in this metaphor right here. He said, the reason why other real niggas don't really fuck with other real niggas, like on some old, like, because you know, if you like that, and I know, if I'm like that, and I know you like that, it's like, 
Yeah, I know he ain't gonna back down. I ain't gonna back down. But guess what? I'm gonna smack the shit out of this nigga because I don't even, I don't want to go through that tonight. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I took the floor. Like, okay, this nigga. Yeah, but Khan so ain't like that though. That's the thing. Nah, Khan Khan got a good resume. He got a Bro, good resume. Nah, Khan Khan was a good guy. Khan was a saying, good fighter. But he was a fighter that showed up to lose. Bro, I'm just saying. He got five losses. I'm just huh? saying. He only got the, five losses. In today's era, that's like that's like a, a fighter back in the day having thirty because a lot of the fights where these dudes could potentially lose, they don't even take. So Kong with five losses in an era where dudes are barely they're not even really fighting top competition night out, night in and night out. Now they he, have a lot of so got fights. some names. That's he like got he got Colazo, he yeah, got Zab Breeders Prescott oh, knocked his ass out yo. with one punch. And where's Breeders Prescott? Hey, the hey, man fought from one thirty all the way to one fifty four. He's yo, been knocked out at every single saying. weight class I, he's been to. He, he suffered from that depression. Khan ain't, ain't no bum, but nah, he, but why we? I'm just saying, nobody in a mind is ever talking mission and Floyd and Khan, bro. Like I'm letting you know, Vinny, you one in a million. That's right. No, that's don't nobody be in their bed talking about. You know what? You know who could have <laughs> gave Floyd a run for his fucking money? Amir Khan, like. Bro. And I never said not one time. Not one time I said he would have beat Floyd though. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know. You're, saying, you're just saying that Floyd didn't want to deal with that. He would have had to think. He would have, you know what I mean? Because I you forget one thing. I think Amir Khan see, faster see, than Floyd. I think Amir Khan is a dude that listen, throws meaningless flurries. Listen, you forgetting one thing in every sport. In every sport. Speed kills, my nigga. And that's a fact. And Floyd is so, faster than so Amir Khan for that, one only and thing that kills shots. speed. Only thing that kills speed is timing. It's time. Floyd got better time, but he's, fat, but he's faster than Amir Khan. He's just not a flurry. Bro, he's faster I'm than Amir Khan. You, you helped my argument. That's what I said. Floyd would have won, but Floyd would have had to time it. And that shit could have took about seven, eight rounds, my nigga. No, no, no. Floyd, bro, Floyd is one of the best at time. If Denny Garcia and Canelo timing you, bro, Floyd going to definitely time that ass. Yo, bro, Danny Floyd Garcia threw that hook with a fucking with his eyes closed. Don't break up Danny Garcia. He That's threw that shit. Floyd, <laughs> Floyd <laughs> Floyd Floyd military his father boy, said, his father hours. said, go ahead and he said, I can't. His father said, man, just throw it anyway. And, he, and, and when he hit him, it changed the fight. But I don't want to hear that Danny Garcia got on fucking timing on Americana. He threw that shit with his eyes closed. You prove it, my point, down bro. He didn't even have to time him. So if Floyd that man was looking, you see, he, that's why you laughing. You That man was looking down at the at the, at the ring. I'm laughing because. I'm laughing because you we just didn't, admitted that man that has no time for just call him. We no, on. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I know I fuck with your perspective. I respect you, Vinny, but we moving on, bro. Hey, okay, Sean, what's ahead, up, man? Go ahead. What this, do you do? Go ahead. This this your live. I respect. This. Go ahead. Hey, Sean, who you think gonna win, man? Do you think the Terrence Crawford has a real chance of being Canelo? Yeah, Crawford all day, man. Oh yeah. Huh? Canelo got slower. With his weight, uh, that's that he struggled with uh Mayweather young when he was fast. Uh, I believe that Crawford just as fast as the Mayweather and the timing y'all was talking about, he has that. Uh, I think him bulking up ain't gonna really slow him down and he'll lay Canelo out, bro. I agree. And, and, and you think you gonna knock him out? I think, be a, a, I think they're warriors and they'll, they'll go that. I level. think Terry Crawford don't even gotta go to 168. I think he could go to 160. I wouldn't do it to my body to try. Yeah, to that's what I said. That's what I said. Well, I said 168. That's too big. No, no, 160 no, let, would be good. Listen, Floyd, let, Floyd let Canelo, Canelo go to 168. Let Canelo walk in 168. But if I was Terry Crawford, I would come in just 160. Yeah, oh, 167, great point. Bro. I said the same thing earlier. Yep. You don't want to be too big. Floyd gave up a weight to yeah. Canelo in and, and shit it on him. Yep. Yep. So, so, so let the fight. The yeah. Room. 168 but if i was if i was Crawford and they can't yo just get we going to 160 we're going to throw a little bit of bunk on because 160 is kind of what he's going to walk around natural anyway you know what i'm saying yeah I, th anyway. I think but i think bud takes that challenge and, uh, and that's 13 i think he would hell yeah man all i know is bro bug me he could be able to eat whatever the fuck he want doing yeah. that training and, camp and, and uh he will eat whatever he want boy bud he's gonna have to cut it down no no that's what i'm saying Man, I had it. I had that motherfucker. I had butt on a, 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 a fish and a plant and a fruit based diet. Fish, vegetables, and fruit. That's how we roll out. Because hey, 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 you don't need hey, no fruit. Hey, hey, bud, if you see this video, Vinny said he gonna be a nutritionist and shit, bro. He said he got you. I got fish, you. fruit, plant based. Yeah, bro. Some vegan shit. You know what I mean? Some milkshakes. Yeah. 
Hey, Yo, <laughs> before we go, we got to talk about this Tank and Connor Ben situation because I'm getting pissed off at Javante ass. Why the hell he trying to fight Connor Ben when you got Devin Haiti waiting out 140 for your ass? Why? <laughs> I don't get Tank that. ain't leaving. You, it, hey, they said somebody said Connor can't fight in the UK right now. Is that true? Damn, that's tough. It's probably because the steroid shit. Yeah, I know. I hope I hope that's not true because that's the only reason why I think she'll want to fight with Connor Ben because to get a fight over in the UK and get the UK, UK exactly. audience in it. But I mean, I think the UK audience will follow Connor Ben anyway. So I think that's why they're doing that fight to, to help get Tank more fans globally. It makes sense business wise to fight Connor Ben. Damn. Then who do you think Earl Spence should fight? Because Earl Spence, I seen him and uh, Connor Ben. Oh, Connor Ben was trying to holler at him, and Adrian Broner. No, Connor Ben tried to try to say he'd beat Errol. He said he'd fuck up Errol other eye. Yeah, that's cap. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good comeback. Keith fight Thurman. For that's a good comeback fight for Earl. Keith Thurman, Thurman about to fight Tim Zeus, so that ain't gonna happen. A good comeback fight. What about um? What about what about yo? What about Boots, bro? Nah, Earl's gonna be killed. Mm -mm. I that wouldn't do that. that that's that's, that's, tell, that's telling us that he's ready to retire. He gonna nah, come back. It would be huh? good. I, I, it would be good. No, that man, that you know, everybody that assumed right. that Boost could beat Arrow just because Terrence did that. Nah, Boost is Boots not is they, they two different Terrence, men. Bro, Boots. This I want this, I wanna see Boots versus Jermail Charlo at 150. This bro. this is my take on it, right? It been one guy, well not one guy, well since one guy. Like a lot of boxers we know switch southpaw and switch stands to throw you off, but we talking about Terrence Crawford, he like he like Marvin's hag. These dudes should switch. And they ain't switching just to throw your game off. They can switch and bust your ass in that stand, and then switch yeah. back. It's like it ain't no just no no flu. So if you telling me that they, because it's a rumor, they said boot. This is good as switching this like ten profit. So if they if this is true, if I was spit, nah, don't mm -mm, hell nah. I wouldn't. You know, if the truth. But, but let me truth. tell you something. Please. Listen, do you do you understand that Terrence Crawford didn't switch? Not one time against Errol Smith. No, he didn't. He he already came out Southpaw. He could have came out That's Orthodox. What I'm saying. So, so the switching no, don't really matter. Why? Why when I when I come out Orthodox, if I come out Southpaw and my motherfucking my 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 right hand, my my bomb is my jab now. Now I got my cannon. Now, my I hear what you saying. I'm saying I'm saying your point. Your point was um the fact that Boots is a switch hitter like uh like Crawford, but Crawford didn't switch at all against the Smith. Um, bro, in the fence fight. That's why I, was, I don't. I don't right. think that's really why a strong he didn't point. switch. Because he didn't have to. Since didn't show him nothing yeah. to say, let me switch. He didn't have to. When it would have worked, he would fix it. Plus, he figured it'd be better for him to fight Spence as a softball because Spence probably don't see that many he softballs don't see, anyway. Exactly. I was just going to say, he don't see that many softballs. So now it's working. I don't have to switch. And I know he don't see that many. So I'm not going to, I'm going to pound him out with his batter and ram jab. That's supposed so, to be my point. So y'all put, put, put boots up. Earlier, what the fuck? What do you just have to do with um, boots? Because. And I'm not talking directly to you. I'm saying in general, in the yeah. media, people are just assuming that Booth would do what Crawford did to Arrow, and I disagree. I think that the fight will go to, will be different. I if, disagree if somebody with got you a too. Mike, they got a lot of uh, hell no uh, shit going on in the background. Right. Um, That's me, bro. I'll mute it. I'll wait. Thank you. Nah, I, 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 I just, I didn't, I didn't. My, once again. I don't know who would win that fight. I just said for his comeback, I wouldn't take that right now because Boots is very hungry. He's very dangerous. I just want to take that right now. Not saying that. That's Earl a good point. Case, good you know point. what I'm saying? So I just said Earl needs to tune up. He's probably going in and beating, knock Boots the hell out. Who knows? But I wouldn't take it right now. Uh -uh. Because Boots is hungry, man. Come in, get you. Do you think Earl needs a tune up? Huh? Do you think Earl needs a tune up? Yeah, he needs a tune up, man. He didn't tune up to see what's really good with him. And I want to see, not only did he tune up, I, I don't want to see, when he come back, I don't want to see the jab, jab, go to the body. The jab, jab, go to, that shit don't, listen, I could download uh, that. Video. See what I'm saying? I could download that. Video. Uh, hey, but, you know but if a man, if, if a man went back, if he come boy. back and we see that, because that's what he, that, and, you, and I, I'm not going to fault him from doing that. That's what got him where he at. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. only a matter of time before a boxer like Terrence Crawford download that data and say, okay, this is what we doing. This is this is this is X and O shit. Then he said, I don't want to see the jab jab go to the body. Bro, <laughs> you not, not, not a be real. Well, yeah, dear God, don't do the don't do the shit that's been working. Work to be real. No, nah, no, nah, nah, but listen, show, do that because it worked. Not saying it don't work, but show us something different. 
You know what I'm saying? Put that. Not, Vinny not, Rice to, 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 Crawford ain't showed you nothing different um, in the last four fights he has. He's been bro, something. He had to. Not to same be thing, real, bro. Same thing. Same, same thing. Hey, Earl didn't have Darren to. Crawford it's never fought a prime fighter at 147. He didn't have to. No, he needs to. What you mean he don't got to? The you guys fight. The you guys fight. See what I'm saying? That was looking like. Ugh, that was looking like oh oh shit. You know what I'm saying? That you guys fight was like oh shit. So that's I'm why I wanted to weigh in right now. Right 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 I was 110 percent because my mouthpiece came out and I, and I lost and I lost attention. Yeah, hey, you yeah. guys look beautiful in the fight. Yeah. I didn't say you look beautiful in the fight, bro. I'm just hey, saying bro, like bro. this thing is about downloading data, man. If if me and you in the ring, bro, and you keep throwing the jab and I keep in order for Crawford to look as good as he did I'm in that fight, that we had to be next blind round, and nigga, The next round, I'm sticking <laughs> something up. See, you know what I mean? Like, if we talking, we talking boxing, or we talking about dudes that just sitting there watching other dudes just throw punches? This thing, this thing is about downloading data, my nigga. Like. If you doing the same thing, okay. Ron, so what did you download listen, from Crawford's uh, last fights? No, but what listen, has he done bro, different? Yeah, I'm gonna be real. We just got to accept some different. people got some people number, bro. Earl Style can still yeah. work against most fighters. So right. Crawford, if you try to box Crawford, right. if, if Earl Thank tried you. to box Crawford, it's not gonna work, bro. It's Thank you. Work. And that's what I was saying. That's so the same thing. That Earl do something different. That's, don't that's make the same thing that got him to the top. Earl got to learn how to catch. Went into a guy that said, "Aha." I've I seen this. I, I got this puzzle. You know what I'm saying? I got, yeah, he ran into a guy that said, "Oh, I seen this puzzle. Let me let me defuse this because it worked against the Danny Garcia." Or he ran into the guy when he was blind and crippled. What did what did he say, Vinny? Uh huh. Dab jab to the body. Uh huh. Nah, that's why I say it don't need to switch up, man, no, bro, because it's nothing nah, he can nah. really do. Listen, he don't need to switch up. Oh, he need to bro. add some more you know tools can to the ball. Can I ask a you question? Why are we Murphy, talking ahead, about Crawford and Canelo? We know that fight ain't going to happen. No, no, that fight ain't going to happen. Canelo has ever shown you that he's going to accept that fight. Bro, that's Canelo's emotion. That's why I'm here. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Canelo does not want to fight Benavidez. Bud is the next best thing. No, he's yeah, not. That is a much easier challenge. And uh, people, the, all the Mexican fans are going to give Canelo credit for the most hey, part. Hey, yep. David Benavidez will beat the shit out of Terrence Crawford. I hope you know that. Of course. He's too small. I hope niggas, I hope niggas don't think Terrence Crawford will win that. What? Ben, ben, Crawford is too small for Benavidez. Yeah, Benavidez is a Canelo. weight bully. But you don't. Canelo's like an undersized super middleweight. He's short for real, for real. The only reason he yeah. could even do what he does with his with his right. stature is because of the power he's had and the the um scientific enhancements that he's had. Right. Right. Yeah. Vinny is coming in the fight as a light heavyweight. Anyway. Damn. Damn. By the time he get by the time fight night, he in there, he light heavyweight. Hell yeah, you man, leave him alone. <laughs> so what happens if 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 if, if for some miracle? Don't get me wrong. No, they got to be a miracle. Charlo actually come out with the win like he did this last time. What happens then? We're still talking about this. Oh, exactly, exactly. Now that's one thing that uh motherfuckers have been talking about because we assuming that Charlo is gonna make gonna it walk, out. I mean, Canelo I don't think he's gonna make Charlo. it out, Phil. Charlo was bullshitting last fight. Did you see the press press interview? <laughs> hey, bro, I'm gonna sit down and relax, dog. Say, like, man, just be happy you're here, Phil. You ain't got to act like we don't like each other. Come right, on, bro. Right. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna beat the dog shit out of you, dog. Hey, you hey, made hey, it Charlo beat Canelo. Canelo. Charlo fuck around. He fuck around and beat Canelo. That ruins everything. Yeah. No, don't. Good. No, they gonna no, get still. Don't. No, I hey, don't. Now you got a rematch. Remember, hey, remember when Zab Judah lost and they get he still got the Floyd Mayweather fight? Remember he lost to the fucking what you call it? Valdemir. Yeah, about the man, and he still got a full man for it because that, that it's, it still was money on the wood. Okay. Floyd, Floyd beat the loser. No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying you know what? You know what? I'm gonna stop Canelo playing with y'all. If, if, if Crawford wants it, tell him the fight been a beat up right now. Everybody's sitting anyway. Let's roll. Let's roll, baby. Earn it. Earn it. Bro. Earn it. I just told you that man walking. That man getting. The I'm tired. I'm tired of Canelo using Benavidez as a chess piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of Crawford fans using spell oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck does 47 uh -huh. got to do with 68? <laughs> hey, I think you go up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give it to uh, Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> so bold on you. On that, on that statement.
Hey, hey you, you, think, think, you think um Tank gonna give Pitbull another shot? For what? I think he's the bet at one forty. That's why people going to one forty. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I want to see that man because I'm telling you. Yeah, they was playing. Rolly, that was Rolly, If you're listening, that was the best. That was up, the best thing I've seen. I think Rolly, I, yeah, Ryan, bro. I think I think they might PBC. They testing Roly right now. <laughs> so if Roly lose, PBC. They probably not gonna be working for oh, him. Oh, Roly, bro. They about they about to they about to retire Roly. That's why they gave him this fight. He, they done with Roly. They said go on yeah. in with the that people. Was, but it depends though. Uh, they, they might be done with Roly, but Roly might not be done with them. If he be if he be Cruz, shit. That mean he gonna he gonna be the one that get the tank rematch. Yeah, yeah. Tank no going to one forty. He uh, better have that mindset because. Hey, going to 140 against him. Right. Listen, he better have that mindset because we all see what we we all look from out. We all know what it is. As soon as I seen that fight come out, I said, oh, they don't roll. Really. They don't throw yeah. a fucking wolf no, like that. No, no. Hey, but because when Jose went against Ben Abiz, it was supposed to be like that. Charlo wasn't supposed to make it out that fight. No way in shit. You? Oh, no. Charlo was supposed to knock him out. Yeah, but that's up to the fighter. Trust me. Charlo was supposed to knock out Benavidez. Benavidez is a naturally smaller man, and Crawford knocked him out. Way back when he was at welterweight, Charlo, if he didn't take all that time off, the power he had and the time he had, he would have knocked Benavidez out. But yo, I gotta get up out of here, man. My phone about to die. I got mm -hmm. shit to do. Murphy Brown, Sean Halfbread, Vinny Paz, Wickedy David, T Street. Yes, thanks for coming up, man. Uh, yes, we brother. had a great live. In a minute, uh, man. Full live we post gonna be on YouTube, man. Absolutely. Peace. For sure. For sure. Right, man, I appreciate y'all, brother. Man, I'm out. I think I'm out. I